Do you know which country Arunachal Pradesh is a part of? Are you intrigued by geopolitical topics? These are questions that might have crossed your mind at some point or another. Arunachal Pradesh, a name that echoes through the corridors of Asian geopolitics, has been a point of contention between two of the world's most populous nations, India and China. The region, known for its rich cultural heritage and breathtaking landscapes, is more than just a piece of land. It's a symbol of national pride, geopolitical strategy, and historical narratives for both countries. It's a story interwoven with threads of history, conflict, diplomacy, and the ever-changing dynamics of international relations. So, are you ready for a deep dive into this riveting topic? Welcome to Unleash Genius. Today, we will... delve into the conflict between India and China over Arunachal Pradesh. So, let's get started. To understand the present, we must travel back to the past. Journey with me to the easternmost corner of India, where the sun first rises, to Arunachal Pradesh. This region, rich in biodiversity, culture and history, has been a strategic point of interest for centuries. In the early days, Arunachal Pradesh was a part of the Northeast Frontier Agency, an administrative region under British India. The British had established the McMahon Line as the border between India and Tibet during the Simla Accord in 1914. This line, however, was not recognized by China, sowing the seeds of a territorial dispute that has endured for over a century. Post-independence, India inherited the colonial borders and continued to regard the McMahon Line as its legitimate boundary. It was in 1951 that Arunachal Pradesh, then known as the Northeast Frontier Agency, was officially integrated into the Indian Union. Meanwhile, China, following the establishment of the People's Republic in 1949, began to assert sovereignty over vast tracts of land, including Arunachal Pradesh. China claimed that the region was a part of South Tibet and thus rightfully theirs. The Indian government, however, rejected these claims, maintaining that Arunachal Pradesh was an integral part of India. This disagreement over the legitimacy of the McMahon line and the status of Arunachal Pradesh led to escalating tensions between the two Asian giants. The conflicting territorial claims became a source of national pride and strategic importance for both nations, with neither willing to back down. The dispute over Arunachal Pradesh is not merely a question of land. It is a complex issue intertwined with history, nationalism and geopolitics. It has implications for regional stability and international relations. The seeds of conflict were sown, leading to a complex geopolitical struggle. The echoes of this historical dispute continue to reverberate in the present, shaping the relationship between India and China, two of the world's most populous nations, and impacting the lives of the people of Arunachal Pradesh. The tensions escalated into a full-blown war in 1962. This conflict, known as the Sino-Indian War, was a pivotal moment in the history of Arunachal Pradesh, as it was the epicenter of the clash between India and China. The origins of the war are rooted in territorial disputes, primarily over the sovereignty of Arunachal Pradesh, which China refers to as South Tibet. The McMahon Line, a boundary established by the 1914 Simla Convention, was accepted by India but rejected by China. This disagreement over the legitimacy of the boundary line was a significant cause of the war. The war itself was short-lived, lasting just over a month from October to November in 1962. However, it was intense and brutal. The Chinese forces launched a massive offensive across the McMahon Line, capturing vast swathes of Arunachal Pradesh. India, caught off guard, put up a valiant defense but was ultimately overwhelmed. Despite the significant territorial gains, China declared a unilateral ceasefire and withdrew its forces behind the McMahon Line retaining control only of the Aksai Chin region, which was another disputed territory. The war was a strategic victory for China, but it left a lasting impact on the region of Arunachal Pradesh and relations between the two Asian giants. 
The war had far-reaching implications for Arunachal Pradesh. It remained a sensitive border region, heavily militarized and under constant vigilance. The people of Arunachal Pradesh found themselves living in a disputed territory, their identity and allegiance often questioned. In the aftermath of the war, both India and China fortified their positions, with India ensuring that Arunachal Pradesh was firmly integrated into its administrative and political setup. The state was granted full statehood in 1987, a move that was seen as a clear assertion of India's claim over the region. The war ended, but the dispute over Arunachal Pradesh remained unresolved. The shadow of the 1962 war continues to loom over the region, shaping its present and future in ways unimaginable. The story of Arunachal Pradesh is one of resilience and hope, a testament to the human spirit's indomitable will to thrive amidst adversity. Fast forward to the 21st century, the issue remains a thorn in the relations between the two nations. The beautiful region of Arunachal Pradesh continues to be a topic of heated debate, with both India and China asserting their rights over it. Now, let's delve into the current scenario. Over the years, there have been numerous diplomatic talks, high-level meetings, and even military standoffs between the two nations. The objective has always been to resolve the dispute peacefully, but the road to resolution is fraught with complications. In the recent years, China has been increasingly assertive about its claim, often referring to Arunachal Pradesh as South Tibet. It's a term that India vehemently rejects. India maintains that Arunachal Pradesh is an integral part of its territory, and its stance is backed by historical evidence and international law. However, the diplomatic chess game continues. India and China have engaged in numerous rounds of border talks, but the issue remains unresolved. The situation is further complicated by strategic considerations, geopolitical dynamics, and the sentiments of the local populace. In an interesting development, the people of Arunachal Pradesh have time and again affirmed their Indian identity. They participate enthusiastically in the democratic process, celebrating Indian festivals and expressing their loyalty to India. Their voices add another layer to this complex issue. Despite the ongoing dispute, both nations have also shown restraint and a commitment to peace. There have been instances of tension along the border, but large-scale military confrontations have been avoided. This shows a recognition of the potential for devastating consequences should the conflict escalate. It's a delicate dance of diplomacy, where both nations are trying to protect their interests while also maintaining regional stability. The geopolitical chessboard is constantly shifting and the stakes are high. Arunachal Pradesh thus remains a contentious issue, with both countries laying claim to it. The dispute over Arunachal Pradesh is not just a bilateral issue, it has implications for the entire world. Indeed, the conflict over this beautiful region, known for its rich biodiversity and vibrant cultures, extends far beyond the borders of India and China. It has the potential to disrupt international relations and global stability. The United Nations, a global body responsible for maintaining international peace and security, has often found itself in a challenging position with regard to the dispute. On one hand, it upholds the principle of territorial integrity, recognizing Arunachal Pradesh as a part of India. On the other, it must also accommodate China, a permanent member of the UN Security Council, and its claims over the region. Moreover, this dispute has implications for other global powers as well. Countries such as the United States, Russia and Japan, among others, have vested interests in the region due to their strategic alliances and geopolitical considerations. The potential for the conflict to escalate into a full-blown military confrontation could destabilize the entire Asia-Pacific region, disrupting trade routes and causing a ripple effect on global economies. So. What could be the potential solutions to this complex issue? Diplomacy seems to be the most viable and peaceful option. Negotiations carried out in good faith, respect for international law and recognition of each other's concerns could pave the way for a resolution. Another approach could be third-party mediation. 
A neutral party could facilitate discussions between India and China, helping them reach a mutually beneficial agreement. However, for this to be successful, both nations must be willing to compromise and find common ground. It's also worth noting that fostering people-to-people -people ties could contribute to peace. Encouraging cultural exchanges, trade, tourism, and academic collaborations between the people of Arunachal Pradesh, India, and China could build mutual understanding and trust, which are essential for lasting peace. The resolution of the Arunachal Pradesh dispute is crucial for peace and stability in the region. So what do you think? Who does Arunachal Pradesh belong to? That concludes our deep dive into the Arunachal Pradesh conflict. We've journeyed from the historical roots of this territorial dispute to the present-day scenarios, exploring the India-China war and its global impacts. It's a story that continues to shape the geopolitical landscape of our world, a narrative that is far from its final chapter. It's important to remember that understanding these complexities isn't about assigning blame or taking sides. It's about gaining a broader perspective of the world we live in, acknowledging the nuances that color international relations. We encourage you to continue this discussion. Share your insights, your perspectives. Let's foster a space of respectful dialogue and mutual learning. Remember, every viewpoint adds a unique layer to our collective understanding. We hope you found this video insightful. Please like, share, and subscribe Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section.